Hey guys, it's Wanda and welcome to Deep South Homestead. Today, I'm going to be showing you a little um, item that we got about a month ago to cover crops with out in the fields. Now, we've not had to cover crops in over a month. It's kind of like a tent that you can open up and get to your crops without having to take everything off. We really don't need it right now, but I'm going to put it together and give you an idea of what it would look like put together. The box comes with all these long ones, all these short ones, all these with an angle, a whole bag full of connectors, a tent that goes over a plastic covering, and instructions. The box got here in pretty pitiful shape. So I'm not even sure we have all the parts, but we're going to see if we can make this happen. All right, this is my workstation. We're going to be putting this together here in the house because I'm going to be taking it right back apart. I don't want to get dirt on it. And um, I got a little coffee, actually Ticino. I think it's Southern Pecan flavored, some cookies. My instructions, all the parts that were sent. And when we get through, we're going to disassemble and put back in the box till next year because we don't need a covering at this time of the year. It's kind of hot here right now. After a sip of my Ticino and a bite of cookie, I'm sitting here reading this, and I want y'all to get the, the comedy in all this. Nowhere on any of this, nowhere, is there a name for this at all. Not a name, not an address, not a phone number. But listen, please pay attention to pushing all the components into the connector as much as possible. Otherwise... The overall frame height will be relatively high and making the PVC cover relatively small and mismatched. If you have any questions during installation, please feel free to contact us. Excuse me? How do you contact them? Number one problem, there is no contact information. It's time for another sip of coffee, a bite of cookie. Study the diagram. This is what we have. We have something that looks like that, something that looks like that, something that looks like that. So I'm guessing we play, let's separate the pieces. All right, we have two of these, seven of those, six of those. Are all these just alike? No. Okay, so let's rethink this. We got six of those, six of these, one of those, and two of those. Hmm. Consult the instructions. We should have six pieces of the one. We got that. Two pieces of the other. We've got that. And it shows two pieces of another. I don't see that. And it doesn't even show the other pieces I have. Oh wait, it shows six pieces of these. That looks like that, so we have six of those. Two pieces that look like a cross. We have two of those. We have one piece, I'm assuming, it don't look like this, but I'm assuming that's what it's supposed to be. They didn't draw it exactly, but maybe that's it. Then we're supposed to have four pieces and two pieces. So these six pieces must be unusual. I don't see any difference in any of them. They look like this piece here, sort of, kind of. I don't see any of those, but I've got six pieces that look alike. Y'all see any difference? Maybe that one's straight and that one's angled. Ha! Huh, that's what it is. We have two of these that look like that, and four of these that look like that. Okay. Would you have caught that? Hmm. Okay, so all our pieces are here. We're supposed to have one piece like this. I'm assuming that's a picture of the plastic. I don't know. We're supposed to have six, six, and 12 of those, and we do have all of that. As the Ticino goes down, 
and I study these and I look at all these. We got to get busy. Now, it takes one of these, two of those, and two of these. Now, this one was bent in the shipping because you saw. This is what the box looked like. Okay, so we got a bent one. But we're going to use it anyway on the base, on the bottom part. And we're going to put this together. For this part, we're going to see if we can't put... All this together should be a simple fix and you want this where it's going to be even because this is what it's going to look like now I've got a bend in this, so it's going to be a little bit difficult and then we do it times two because you need one for each side and I just reverse what I did on this one so it comes back the T comes back this way where that one's going this way this one's coming this way all right so we have two here and we're going to move some of this out of my way because I don't need it and you need it kind of straight. All right, the next part we need one going across on each side. So we need two more of these. And this is going to be the size of once we get this. Okay, so a little Ticino time for a minute. This will fit, I don't know, it's about maybe three foot wide by five foot long, something like that. I don't know, it doesn't give the measurements. That's the one thing I don't like. There's really no information here. You saw the sheet that came with it. Um, I'm not even sure with this if it's gonna do what I think it's gonna do. It's supposed to be you can open the sides. We're fixing to find out. I see zippers, so maybe. There is no right and wrong way according to what I see here. So I'm not sure if one end as opposed to the other works a little different. Yep, that is not it. So, I'm going to go this way. Pull it down. The green stripe goes on top. The green stripes go down the sides like this. Pull it down. So 
So basically, let me show you. The back side is totally covered. You cannot get into your crops from here or here. This side, you can unzip. And you can roll it back. What I see a problem with is getting to anything that's back here. You're going to have an issue unless you pull it up from the other side. This is a good idea. Um, it's supposed to hook. You have some ties here to tie it. Uh, this is what you would have to do is go around and tie it. In our high wind area, this will blow off in five minutes flat. Uh, all it is is a few ties. It's like one on each side, two at the top. That's it. Um, that would blow away. There's no way. You could take ground stakes and put it down and hold it in place maybe. But there's no way to secure this and wind would get a hold of it and take it yonder big time. If you're looking for something like this, then check the link in the description below. Um, what I see is the plastic would not last in our area very long. The sun would turn it to brittleness before long. You could only use it one season. Like I said, the wind would blow it. Um, there's, I don't even see a way here in the middle to tie it. There's two up here and two here, but nothing here tie this on the front or the back. There's one on this side, one on each, each corner to tie. And unless you use ground stakes and stake it down, the wind would flip it and there it would go. But if you have a way to secure it and it's in an area like over a raised bed or something like that, you can secure it down somewhat. It would make an excellent greenhouse effect over your crops getting your crop started. That's the one reason I wanted it, was to put it over one of our raised beds this fall. But I would take this plastic off and put it up every year. If you take it off and not let the summer sun get to it and put it up, you could possibly make it last a couple of years. I don't know the company name. I have no clue. I'm gonna go back and see if I can find an email somewhere to get a link for the description and I will put it down there, but there's no names on the box, there's no names on anything except made in China, my address, and I think it said shipping department was where it was sent from. So that is my honest review on this tent that goes over, I would say a raised bed. That's what I would use it for, and I would put it up every year. So thank you guys.